In this video, I'm going to show you how to interpret blood agar bacterial growth medium. This is a sterile plate of blood agar. Here's the bottom of a blood agar plate, and although there was growth on the top portion, when I flip that plate over and look at the underside, I can see that the medium has not changed at all. It looks as if it were a brand new plate of blood agar. This means the bacteria growing there do not produce hemolytic enzymes, so this is gamma hemolysis indicating normal flora. Now here's a different blood agar plate that has bacterial growth. And when I look at the bottom of this plate, the medium looks bruised. It has a brownish appearance to it. Here's another blood agar plate with the same type of hemolytic reaction. The samples plated on this blood agar were throat samples from two different lab partners, and both show alpha hemolysis, that brown bruising color. This indicates normal flora. So on this plate, the throat sample on the left shows three kind of blobs where the medium has completely lost its color and become transparent. This is beta hemolysis. Beta hemolytic organisms can completely clear the color from the blood agar because they break down the red blood cells. Since we plated a throat sample on the blood agar for this video, we're looking for the pathogen Streptococcus pyogenes. Streptococcus pyogenes is a gram-positive pathogen. There are other types of bacteria that can also create beta hemolysis on blood agar. Some gram-negative organisms can as well, but to tell the difference between gram negatives and Streptococcus pyogenes, we can look at the colony morphology. Colony morphology refers to how different types of bacterial colonies look growing on agar. Gram negative bacteria growing on blood agar form larger colonies, large, round, flat. Uh, grayish or tannish colonies. We can see a couple examples on the upper left side of this plate. The two circles that you see of beta hemolysis were caused by gram-negative organisms. On the lower right portion of the plate you see a large area cleared and the majority of that area was cleared by Streptococcus pyogenes which has a colony morphology of very small, creamy white bacterial colonies. Punctiform means very small, round, beta hemolytic colonies. So to review, gamma hemolysis, which is no color change in the medium when there is growth, and alpha hemolysis, which looks like bruising, both indicate the presence of normal flora. These are normal results. Beta hemolysis occurs when the bacteria growing on blood agar have completely broken down the red blood cells. This makes a clear or transparent area in the medium where the bacteria are growing. There are several different kinds of bacteria that can cause beta hemolysis, but we've taken a throat sample. So what we're looking for is Streptococcus pyogenes a pathogen 
that is beta hemolytic. So when we see a beta hemolytic pattern on blood agar, we need to look at the colony morphology of the bacteria growing there. Streptococcus pyogenes will grow in punctiform, small, circular, creamy white colonies on the blood agar, whereas gram-negative organisms that are beta hemolytic will grow in larger grayish and tannish colonies. If I see beta hemolysis on blood agar created by a bacteria that I suspect of being Streptococcus pyogenes, I can always isolate a sample of that strep on another plate and then do a bacitracin test. A bacitracin test would involve exposing the bacteria I suspect of being Streptococcus pyogenes to an antibiotic disc that has bacitracin on it. Bacitracin will clear the area of Streptococcus pyogenes. More seriously nerdy, amazing free stuff at scienceprofonline.com.